In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation of HClO plus NaOH. This is hypochlorous acid plus sodium hydroxide. First thing with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. In this case, the molecular equation, it's already balanced, so we're done with that. Next, we write the state for each substance. So when we look at HClO, the H in front makes us think it's an acid, and we look at a list of common strong acids and bases. For strong acids, we see HClO4, but we don't see HClO, so this is going to be a weak acid. Because of that, it's not going to dissociate fully into its ions. So we're going to write AQ because this will dissolve in water, but it's not going to break apart into its ions. So we have our AQ, and sodium hydroxide, that's a strong base that will break apart into its ions, dissociate. It's a strong electrolyte. Sodium compounds, very soluble, little AQ. And then water, that is a liquid. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. So we're talking about the strong electrolytes. This will give us a complete ionic equation. So HClO, we said that's a weak acid. So it's not a strong electrolyte. It's not a strong acid. We're going to put HClO. We won't split it apart. So I'll write aqueous at the end. So we have our HClO plus sodium is in group 1 on the periodic table, 1 plus charge hydroxide, that's always 1 minus. This is a strong base. It's going to break apart into the sodium ion, Na plus, and the hydroxide ion, OH minus. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. Next, over here in the products, we have positive, negative. We'll have that sodium ion again, Na plus. We'll have ClO minus. And then for water, we won't split that apart. It's a liquid H2O. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not really interested in them. As I look at the reactants and the products, the only thing I see the same is that sodium ion on both sides of the equation. I'm going to cross that out. But what's left, that's our net ionic equation for HClO plus NaOH. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for HClO plus NaOH. You'll notice that charge is conserved. On the reactant side, we have a negative charge. On the product side, we also have a negative charge. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same on each side of the equation. So mass is conserved as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.